Successful restaurants run like machines. They've got an array of cooks, a brigade of waitstaff, busboys, dishwashers, and a set of highly trained managers to oversee each team. Successful restaurants have music, tablecloths, ambient lighting, and silverware. Nobuya has none of that. On paper, this restaurant shouldn't succeed. There's no staff, no ambience, no parking, no reservations, but for some reason, it thrives. There's one thing that makes Nobuya stand out from every other ramen place in the city, and you're looking at it. This is Nobu. He's the founder, owner, head chef, waiter, cashier, busboy, dishwasher, and host. This is his restaurant. Nobuya is planted three minutes away from a train station in the suburbs of Toronto. There's a grocery store a few blocks away and a gas station adjacent. That's about it. If I wasn't searching for this place, I would have driven past it. And I did. Twice. When we walked in, every table was full. The kitchen, on the other hand, was empty. Nobu was in the back prepping more fresh ingredients. We took a seat and were shortly greeted by the man himself. Thank you so much for coming to my restaurant, he exclaimed. We are very busy now, so you will have to wait a little. I'm sorry. Please make yourself comfortable, as he mentioned to the bar stools we were sitting on. After about an hour, Nobu bustled over to us and began explaining the menu. We decided on the tenkatsu shoyu and the spicy miso ramen. We split the Japanese croquette and the takoyaki. Another hour went by, followed by the ramen. It was delicious. You could see how excited Nobu was to explain all of the ingredients and how much time he put into every single dish. He also explained how much a five-star rating on Google and Yelp would mean to him. From then on, it was smooth sailing. We ended up paying 20 or $30 for, what, two days of food. We packed up all of our ramen for the next morning, and it was just as delicious as we had hoped. Nobu thanked us again for coming, lingered a moment to have a genuine conversation with us, and bustled back to the kitchen to cook another order. It's astonishing to imagine running an entire restaurant by yourself, let alone one as popular as this. I'm giving it my wholehearted recommendation, but with two caveats. One, you better like your dining companion, because conversation is about the only thing at Nobuya to help pass the time. And two, go in expecting a wait. It's worth it. <laughs>